So I have a son, Nicholas, who's now 14. And he first had uh, the first uh, sort of evidence of this disorder when he was six, but we had no idea at the time. Um, and then it, uh, after several months of severe OCD with a lot of hand washing, chapped hands, um, it, it tended to mostly go away for about two years, which is unusual. And then it came back with a vengeance when he was nine. He was uh, sick with we don't quite know what, flu-like symptoms perhaps, when he was at a camp. And when he came back from that, uh, his OCD, which had been almost gone for, for two years or so, uh, just went through the roof. So hand washing to the max, lots of anxiety. He had lots of trouble around, uh, around bedtime. And I was just tracking his symptoms uh, with whatever I think I could measure. And one of the first things I measured was how long it took him to get to bed. Well, one night um, he flopped into bed finally after whatever period of time it was, and it didn't feel right, so he got back up out, out of bed and then tried it again and thought, oh, I should count this. And at about 12, I started counting, thinking, oh, it's plus or minus. Well, I fell asleep, and I just remember being in the 400s. So he had jumped in and out of bed 400 and something times before I fell asleep exhausted. And when I woke up, he was no longer doing it, so at some point he stopped, I don't know when. That, uh, that occurred when he was about nine and uh, we did what most of the other parents do to figure this out. <laughs> they get on the internet. We, our doctors weren't giving answers to this stuff. So we found out with just a little bit of Googling, you know, sudden onset OCD and things like that and, and out pops pandas and pans and we start um, looking for people that can help us. Eventually we get some help, sometimes coaxing doctors uh, w with what we've read. You know, can you give us some antibiotics for this? Okay, I'll give you the first round, but after that, I'm not comfortable. But anyway, we, we got our first couple of rounds of antibiotics that way. And uh, they did make a difference. Not right away like some, some kids do. Some, some kids get better in, in days. It took us uh, several weeks before his uh, severe symptoms calmed down. It was grueling and heartbreaking. Um, he had many different symptoms. They morphed. They seemed to morph all the time and change into other symptoms. So sometimes my measurements that I was tracking, they would go away and I'd have to start measuring something else to find out if he was getting better or worse. I was doing that because I wanted to know if such and such an SRI or such and such an eye antibiotic was actually doing good or not. And I was really um, concerned about kidding myself uh, about whether something worked or not. Because sometimes you, you believe something strong enough and then you convince yourself it's working. And I, I didn't want any part of that. I wanted to know objectively. What I eventually stumbled on was, was measuring soap because how much he soaped himself during the day um, it, it was, uh, we had this foam soap bottle that was about this high and um, I would just measure it at the end of the day and then I would know whether he was getting worse or not. And in fact, that way I um, showed a couple of things, um, things that made him worse and things that made him better. I found a few things by taking him on and off several times and watching the soap, me soap measurements and then doing a bit of a statistical analysis of that, I figured out what was making him better and what was making him worse. I felt really good about that. Uh, and he eventually got better, probably not so much from all our efforts, but probably because of puberty. He's 14 now and he had a uh, fairly dramatic, well, not dramatic because it took a year, but over the course of a year, the way he was uh, at the beginning of age 13 compared to the beginning of age 14 was quite dramatically different. And then there's a whole bunch of other um, uh, uh, ways that we can tell he's better. He's not nearly as anxious. Uh, he used to have certain symptoms like talking a lot, uh, repeating things. Um, those things are much lower than they used to be.